Hello, hello, this is Serenef, and we are playing Creativeverse, and I am here to answer a problem that uh, another YouTuber, Sade Mester, congratulations on 300 subscribers, has been having with finding a pathway uh, with uh, multiple junctions or maybe two ways to go when you get to the end of the first hallway. Um, but before we get into it, um, there is little bug. None of this should be on. I have a fan that is outputting false, um, but uh, it certainly seems to be animated. Um, certainly seems to be blowing air. And actually, these two holiday lights uh, should be off as well. The same thing, these two fans should not be going on at the same time. And as far as I can tell, it is just the animation, not the actual function. So I'm not actually being pushed by the fan. In fact, I can walk back straight through it. Um, same thing for these here. And uh, if we were in uh, darkness, uh, you could actually see that there's no uh, green light that's actually being put out by the two holiday lights. Uh, so just to kind of reset my system here. Come on. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, so what I have here is uh, three fans, although you can certainly use more. Uh, I'm only using one fan for this pathway, but if you use another one, you can connect it to the same comparator. Uh, same thing here. I have two different fans going in two different directions. And I have uh, simply a number pad. Now the thing about number pads, you may notice, unlike other wireable blocks, number pads do not have a state. Uh, they do not have a true or a false signal to give. They are essentially designed only to give a value uh, to be used in the number comparison gates or the logic gates. So my, for my first fan here, I have a number comparator. And for this fan here, I have this comparator. And finally, this fan here gets this comparator. For my number pad, I'm going to put in 1, and for 1, I would like to go to the left. So I want this one to come on with 1. I'll put 1 as a value in input 2, and equals. If I hit 2, I would like to go to the right. So for this fan and this comparator, I'd like a value of 2 and equals. Now for this fan, I'm going to need it to be on in both cases, whether it's one or two. And if I want to expand and kind of branch out and make other pathways, I'm going to need it to be on for those two. So for now, just working with the two pathways here, I want it to be on with one and with two and possibly anything else. So what I've chosen is greater than with a value of zero. So if I input 0, then it will turn the fan off. But if I input anything larger, 1, 2, 3, then it will turn the fan on. So I have 1. We have our fan on. Our fan down there. So it should send us to the left. Two switches it the other way. If I did three, that would keep this fan on, but the others turn off. Zero turns off the entire system. Let's see what happens when we add a reset time of three seconds. So I have plenty of time to get through the system. So let's go to the right, and it turns itself off. Um, I did add some lights, and as you can see by the crosshair, I connected them to the opposite way. So if I put in two to go to the right, that fan comes on and the light facing the right comes on. Same thing with one. Uh, 
Um, although I generally say not to put multiple inputs into one input slot, you can, if you wanted to, not only connect the number pad to input one of the comparator, but you could put in something else as well. Um, so for example, if you wanted to put in a um, press plate or a delay of any sort, um, press plates and delays when outputting true will read as one in the comparator and when they go to false they will read as zero. So that is another option for kind of resetting your system. Um, I will be going further into considerably more detail about uh, comparators and number pads and how you can use them in other systems later next week. My video has been slightly delayed for a bug that has hopefully been fixed with 33 and 2 thirds. But until then, take care.